Central Java is up there with one of the most beautiful places on earth when it comes to natural beauty, biodiversity and the friendly smiles of the local people. In this video, we spend seven days exploring places that most tourists have never even thought of going and trying street food that tells a story of local life in the central Java region. Come along with us as we start our journey off in Purwakerto, a totally untouched and untraveled paradise well off the beaten path. It's a very bold statement, but I think this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. This is amazing. Hello, good morning from central Java. We took the Baturaden Express from Bandung here to Pur Wakerto, central Java just yesterday and we spent last night in this beautiful hotel, absolutely gorgeous. We're staying at a hotel called the Grand Kanaya, right next to where all the action is here in Baturaden. Baturaden is a very popular local tourist spot for the locals of Indonesia, but it is definitely not popular with foreign tourists such as us. So today we want to bring you guys on an adventure in a place that is definitely off the beaten path, something a little bit different and show you guys real natural beauty here in Indonesia. Good morning. <laughs> and how beautiful is this swimming pool right here? Now we arrived pretty late last night, so we didn't get to see anything during the daylight. We didn't get to explore much at all yet either, just literally around this hotel. And uh, this area is surrounded by green, natural Indonesian nature. And it is making us so happy and excited to see this place. It's really a place that I haven't seen being covered on YouTube extensively much at all. We have not seen any tourists when we arrived at the train station, at Purwakerto train station. People were literally in shock when they saw us walking out of the station. I had one person come up to me and say, are you sure that this is your stop? I was like, yeah. So, very excited to see. We're gonna head in the direction of a couple of waterfalls and uh, we're gonna be spending the next couple of days exploring this area something a real sort of local authentic experience rather than the typical you know Bali or this is something that uh, is definitely going to give you more of a real and authentic Indonesian experience so the first thing on our list today is actually walking into uh, Baturaden now uh, our hotel is just sort of here on the right side you have to walk into this roundabout and then up this hill and everything here around Batura del Empurvo Carso is quite steep. So uh, in case you're not into walking, uh, this is maybe not the place for you. But um, yeah, if you like hiking, if you're into nature and all of that good stuff, this is definitely the place to come. And uh, we cannot wait to actually explore around the nature a little bit more because we are a little bit nature deprived, I want to say, as of lately. And uh, yeah, nature here is really... Wow, stunning. Check this out. How beautiful is this? It's crazy. Unbelievable. It's literally untouched as well. So the <clears throat> development around here is a lot less than places like Bandung, Jakarta, especially Jakarta. As you can see, you've got like basically a line of development with the town in Baturaden that leads all the way down to Purwakerto. This is unbelievable. Wow. A lot of the places from our hotel, which is down there, up the hill, seem to be um, empty. I don't know, do you still have like hotel signs like this one, where you can barely read the name. And then it looks something like this, um, where some windows are missing or windows are open and so on. So it's sort of, there's Luke, <laughs> it sort of looks like, um, yeah, some of the hotels here might be abandoned, maybe due to uh, little people that are coming to visit, uh, or maybe as a result of the pandemic, maybe there weren't many tourists traveling. 
but yeah the places look really nice like they look like they used to be nice really nice once upon a time but now they're sort of closed from what we can see maybe we're incorrect and their nature is just taken over which is obviously a possibility but i don't think so in indonesia always expect the unexpected we just walked around the corner and there's an airplane uh, no idea siang no idea what this airplane is for but it looks like you can enter it oh and they have a little bit of a market up here as well i believe this is now the center of baturaden yeah yes loka wisata baturaden is just over here and that seems to be basically like a nature park of some sort and this whole area supposedly has a lot of waterfalls a lot of nature we are literally at the bottom of mount slamet which is the tallest volcano in central java and i believe the second tallest volcano in all of indonesia so very very interesting area to be in and i'm sure there's some incredible stuff to check out and how random is this we just stumbled across a plane <laughs> <laughs> in terms of waterfalls as well we're just standing sort of here on the side and you can hear water flowing already i don't know if you can hear it oh yeah there's a small river just here running down i believe this might be the river as well that we can hear from our hotel and then you have this giant <laughs> plane here with a red nose looks a little bit like a cartoon character <laughs> so from the top of Batura then where we were just standing there where the plane was we're gonna make our way now to one really nice looking waterfall which is called Juruk Telu and uh, it's a three kilometer hike to go there and we just sort of started walking I'm sure we could have gotten a grab but I don't know today it's a nice day so we feel like walking yeah um, the whole sort of aim for us today is just to show you guys how beautiful this area is around yeah. here and uh, we were thinking about going inside of the Lokata Park but uh, we didn't really want to pay that entrance fee it's only 20,000 yeah. but we would rather just bring you guys and explore the real nature and the real sort of local area of here because it's giving off such a positive yeah. and good vibe also it's uh, quite sunny today and usually like the last few days it has been very rainy so we feel like we won't get a chance maybe to do this uh, hike again so this is why we are prioritizing this the park is still going to be there tomorrow whether it rains or not but uh check this out wow this is what you randomly stumble into when you walk around Baturaden and uh, Purvokorto. This is beautiful. Little bridge. What does it look like on the other side? Oh, this looks like a swimming kind of area. You even have some stairs down there. And as you can see, it's super, super clean as well. There's not an ounce of trash around here, which I find very, very nice as a change because in a lot of areas obviously you see a lot of plastic and so on um, but here hello <laughs> here it's actually very clean uh, very just like back to nature and uh, yeah i do admire that a lot yeah. just so you guys know we walked up 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 towards uh, juruk telu and it looks like you can camp here as well uh, in the middle of the forest so uh, i do think that that would be really really cool if we whip sorry <laughs> if we had a camper van that would be the absolute best to do i think around here sure it's very affordable siang and uh, very nice as well you have amazing air quality up here and it's very very quiet so yeah next time around when we come here we come by camper van walking around here it's really actually hilarious people are literally stopping hello, hello how are you <laughs> see what i mean people are literally stopping on their bikes stopping in their cars running up to us they look at us like they've just seen a ghost <laughs> so friendly though such a good vibe i've ne i don't think i've ever felt this happy while traveling this is uh 
a must visit place. And I can tell you that already, and we've only been walking around here now for like around an hour or so. Just look at how, I don't want to curse, but look at how gorgeous this is. Oh, this is so beautiful. There's also a lonely cow there in the distance. <laughs> I think she saw us. She's looking at us. She thinks we're crazy. Um, people here as well, when they're passing by us, they look at us like we're ghosts or something. I don't think they can believe that we're here. <laughs> crazy, crazy foreigners going for a hike. Everybody else is driving. <laughs> So guys, we made our way to our very first waterfall here in Purwokerto and uh, Jurug Pinang and uh, hopefully one of many today. Yeah, we knew that there was going to be quite a lot of waterfalls uh, on the way to Jurug uh, Telu, but uh, so far, uh, so fast, I didn't anticipate that we were going to walk into a waterfall just kind of casually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can see oh. here. By Tickets. the way, uh, 10,000 per person, so yeah. 60 cents, 70 cents? 10,000 rupiah per person. Very affordable. I'm really wondering if the water around here is actually really cold or kind of lukewarm because theoretically the area here is a little bit colder and it rains quite a bit, so I assume it's cold, but uh, we need to test it. <laughs> it's actually really cold. Yeah. Not like freezing, freezing cold, but cold enough to say it like this. Wow. It would be so cool to take a shower here. Yeah. This place is absolutely gorgeous. 10,000 rupiah as well, and you can use this area as an actual like bathing area, so you can go for a swim. There's a whole pool here and there's two sort of water streams but um, it's very clean and it seems to be sort of a uh, it's obviously well kept because you do have to pay an entrance but uh, yeah very beautiful for uh, for the first stop of today we are genuinely speechless blown away by Purwakerto so far I really don't understand why people, Westerners, only focus on certain areas of Indonesia like Bali. Bali is, from what I can see, an incredibly beautiful island. But you have places like this in central Java. If you're not coming here, you're really missing out. And I'm very excited now to see the rest of this area. I think uh, the majority of foreigners aren't even aware that something like this is in existence in central Java because it's not really well published. I mean, uh, I saw some Indonesian uh, blogs and so on, but uh, just in Bahasa. So foreigners are not really aware that this is even here to visit. Um, and nobody really comes here. So yeah, that's why we came here just to see what is what. Uh, and we're traveling a little bit slower. So we actually do get the chance to find these places accidentally. <laughs> All right, so we are well on the trail. I'll tell you what, guys, it's pretty steep in many places, so I apologize if my breathing is a little bit heavy. It's pretty humid and uh, it's a lot of up and down. There's so many people going around here on scooters, which makes absolute sense. We've noticed since we left the center area of Batura then, there's basically no cars, very little cars. Everybody's just zooming up and down the, the mountainside on their scooters. And uh, now we're currently just sticking to Google Maps to try and head towards this waterfall, but we seem to have come to a gate of some sort. Yeah, we already missed uh, one of the exits that we were supposed to go down, so we are now walking another way. And this one, I don't know if you can see it, it says to just walk straight, but it sort of seems like we're walking into a housing estate or something. So mm -hmm. I don't know <laughs> if Google Maps is so accurate up here, because it seems like a lot of people are building houses and 
uh, buying properties here at the moment. So maybe Google Maps is changing on the daily. I don't know. Yeah, true. There's um. Funnily enough, as we came up the hill, we've realized that there is a, a, quite a bit of like buildings being built, homes, villas, stuff like that. Because as I said in the beginning, it is a pretty popular area for local tourists to come up here and um, be in the nature. Down towards Purwakurto, uh, at the beginning of Batura Den, it is a little bit less developed. So an interesting mix but uh, the views absolutely everywhere around here are unbelievable as you can probably tell behind me this is uh, like something we've never seen before do we have to go down here <laughs> Google Maps is saying to walk straight here um, I don't think that's right maybe we can walk around here and then find a path there back again yeah it's an actual because dead end this is like I don't think that we're supposed to go there, but that's what Google says. Just leads into basically a brick wall and then a marsh, like a marsh field. Well, we will continue to explore. This is why we're called the two mad explorers, guys, because we do stuff like this. We're currently going back to the roots. This is how we, uh, how we started shooting our videos. We only did something like this in the beginning and this really feels like it's a back to the roots type of thing that we're doing today. I just hope that we're gonna find a person to ask for the way or something. Yep. Look at these houses up here. All of the doors are open. All the doors are open, yeah. So one of the locals that is currently there working into in the bushes, maybe you can hear the machinery, uh, was waving and saying no, 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 wrong direction. So we're gonna go back and try and track down where we missed the exit actually. I think that would make the most sense. <laughs> yeah, true. I think we are officially lost in the highlands of Purwakerto, Indonesia. This place though, I, I, we're not mad about being lost, don't get me wrong. The more we're walking, the more we're discovering, the more we're exploring, the more we're falling in love with this area. At this point, I think we're just gonna get ourselves a little plot of land and stay here for a while. <laughs> I'm currently looking at real estate. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit upset because I thought that I completely missed the turn. I thought it was obvious, but it really wasn't. I don't know if you can see, but this is the main street that we were walking on. And this is where we should have been walking. Do you see the little green sign? That's what I missed. <laughs> we missed. We missed a very, very, very small turn. So uh, yeah, that was a close call. I think we added an extra maybe half an hour onto our journey. But uh, that's all a part of the adventure. Let's uh, continue and make our way towards Jurugtilu. Queen Garden Hotel. And this is the Queen Garden Hotel Batura Den. It actually looks, it looks really cool. pretty beautiful. Can you believe the nature here? It's just absolutely insane. I didn't uh, think that this would happen to us today, even though we got lost. Um, we got uh, surprised by so much natural beauty and rewarded with so much natural beauty. And uh, yeah, I'm just completely in awe at where we walked ourselves into and that by accident. <laughs> Unbelievable. What are you doing if you're not coming here? Look at this. Not in central Java, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> so I think me and Naomi have dibs on this house right here. Just this one that I'm pointing at right now. I think uh, we want to stay there. We want to stay there forever. The yellow one? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. I think we chose our home. <laughs> central Java. <laughs> central Java. It's literally... It's a very bold statement, but I think this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. And uh, just someone singing over here. Really <laughs> Karaoke seems to be a huge thing. We're, where we're staying closer to Purwakurto Center, there's tons of karaoke bars. <laughs> and uh, it just seems to be the way to pass time here. It's a great way to pass time. It's such a social thing oh to God. do. What's this? The oh my God, look. Clothes. 
look at this we're seeing these spiders everywhere and they are absolutely massive ah uh, he has something to eat i think uh, usually you see them a little bit more up top in the lanterns um, this one is the first one that is up close but this one is a little bit smaller than the usually they're like i don't know the size of a hand maybe this absolutely one is a little smaller huge still yeah a huge specimen and um, I took a picture of it and I actually a uh, Google image searched it and I think these are bird eating spiders I think they're eating like small sparrows or something like that um, they're really really beautiful to look at they're like really pretty but uh, they're always in areas that you don't expect them yep. so you're just like you know walking looking around and then bam spider you know it's like okay you <laughs> never expect it but uh, yeah I don't think I don't know I think they're quite nice to look at they have a nice pattern nice colors and so on so Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm very, very close to Juruk Telu, uh, where we are currently walking to. There are homestays and we have actually been looking for homestays left, right and center. And we're not really sure how to find them online. So maybe if you have any apps or something like that, where these homestays would be registered, that would be really good. Uh, in case you do want to stay here, there's uh, Do Jegangan and we also have Gria Tuerbi. So, and both of them are really nice. They are like sort of wood houses, a little bit more natural, I want to say. Really cool. I think we made it guys. Salamata Tang. Wisata Alam Chiruk Telu. Welcome to the waterfall. I need a wallet. It's uh, it's seven thousand rupiah per person. Seven thousand. Just wow. for the entry. Alright. Very affordable. Very excited. So many people don't come out here, so it's that's probably why it's so affordable. Yes, we are. <laughs> Very far out. Quite far out now. It's going to take us a long while to get back. Oh, I'm my losing legs, money. My legs are literally <laughs> numb from walking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're not used to walking so much anymore. I don't know how Luke is going to get back. <laughs> yeah. I think we're... Definitely gonna have to make a pit stop at a warung or something on the, along the way for yeah. maybe a nasi goreng or a coffee. Here directly at the entrance of Juruk Tulu, there seem to be a few places to eat, a few warungs, a few coffee places and so on. So yep. I think we will get the chance. We just have to be careful not to get into the rain. It looks like it's gonna start raining it soon. It could rain soon, yeah. Hello. Uh, oh, okay. This one, Dua. 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 Uh, tidak gula. Tidak gula. No, no sugar. Gula. No sugar. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, what else do you have? Hello. Mm. Siang. Siang. You want a Sprite or something or a Puchuk? Sprite, yeah. Sprite? Uh, okay. Sprite? Dua. Dua, Dua. Sprite. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's Have a look at this. <laughs> so we made our, our way to the waterfall finally guys and we're stopping off here in a warung on the inside of the grounds of the waterfall. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous here and uh, we definitely need a little bit of caffeine in our system. This place is incredible and the woman that runs the warung is so friendly. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Has a hat, yeah, it keeps it warm. It, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your hat. <laughs> 
So the lady of the Warung asked us if we wanted to try Mendoan, uh, which apparently is a food that is specific to Puvokarto. And um, I understood that there's tempe in here and some uh, scales of uh, spring onions or something like that. Other than that, I didn't really understand <laughs> what is in here. She just freshly fried it up. Oh yeah, you can see it's a big chunk of tempe. Mm. on the bottom and then uh, I think it's deep fried with a, some sort of a dough and we also got a little dippy dip dippy dip it's very hot though I think we have That's to good. we have to maybe wait <laughs> a little while oh it's very crumbly let's just ooh let's mm. just dip this guy in here <laughs> very hot guy <laughs> hot 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 Oh, so crunchy. Mmm, this is really good. Very tasty. Oh, spicy. Yeah. Mmm, it's spicy, but it's very nice. Oh my god. This is amazing. Um, if I could compare it to something maybe from the West, um, what are these like potato cakes? Because this potato pancakes called that are deep fried. Oh yeah, uh, they're really popular in Poland. Really They've popular po everywhere in Central Europe, re really. Potato pancake, yeah, yeah. Potato pancake, um, like in Germany, we would eat something like this with um, an apple puree. Mm -hmm. And it would be a little bit more on the potato and sweet side. This is very similar, just a savory version of it. But there's tempeh in there. Mm. Really nice snack. Yeah. Super tasty. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys, Mendoan. First time trying it, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce in here so I can taste taste the actual food. Um, yeah, based off Naomi's reaction, she seems to really like this. So, here we go, Mendoan. That's delicious. Mm. Reminds you of, of potato pancakes as well. Yes. It li literally tastes like a deep-fried, crispy, warm, delicious potato pancake. That sauce has a real kick to it. Oh my god. But um, this is amazing. Um, I can see why this would be popular in this particular area because it's quite a bit cooler up here uh, in Batura than obviously down towards Purwakurto, even in Purwakurto it's relatively cool temperature wise and this is a really heartwarming snack to have especially if you're out on a hike looking for waterfalls like we are <laughs> this is amazing mm. I can't I can't see anything wrong with this situation right here this is amazing <laughs> Yeah, I'm completely lost for words and in awe about the setting here as well. Just sitting here uh, in one of these little cute varungs and uh, having some really good food. Really good coffee as well. While looking onto water, you can hear the waterfalls in the distance. This is just amazing. Shocked, really shocked. This is 10 out of 10. It's a diving platform here. It's around five or six meters up down into the water. Crazy. Can you believe this? Where are we? Hmm? This is like what what? Oh my god! Indonesia! You're beautiful! Wow! I'm in shock. This is so beautiful and so worth it. We were hiking for hiking, getting lost, whatever, for quite a while, and this was so so worth it. I'm I'm in complete shock. My God, it's so beautiful here. 
We have one, two, three, four, five waterfalls here. Yeah. Wow. I think I finally ate enough rice to pass as Asian. Look at this. I'm Asian squatting. <laughs> I nearly fell backwards, but I'm Asian squatting. I can do stuff with my hands. How cool is this? What's up you guys? Today is our very very first day of exploring around Jogjakarta and we are starting off with the Malioboro quarter or Jalan Malioboro. That's where we are right now. So let's just go and have a look around Jogja. First stop, Teras Malioboro Dua. Uh, we're gonna have a look. I think they have some food stands here, definitely some sort of a market situation. I can already see some stands selling clothes. So we're just gonna have a look around and see what we can find. So guys, there's definitely a different vibe going on here in Jogjakarta. Very laid back, definitely a lot more laid back than it is in places like Jakarta or even Bandung. And we made our way here just off Malioboro Street to Terras Malioboro. We're gonna go in and have a little bit of a look around. It seems to be a whole sort of open market that's selling a bunch of different stuff like batik clothing, tie-dye t-shirts, souvenirs, stuff like that. Let's go check it out. We're now inside of the Malioboro Terras and uh, directly at the inside it sort of seems like it's just clothing and a few snacks here and there but I'm sure they also have uh, food stalls somewhere in the back I assume and it's a really narrow area with a lot of people hustling and bustling so very very interesting and definitely a cool spot to come to. This place is very fascinating and they're selling some really interesting stuff for sure. Pretty much everything you can think of is right here. Mainly clothing, lots of souvenirs and uh, some very beautiful designs as well. So that was a quick little look inside of Terras Malioboro and now we're headed back to the main street of Malioboro. <laughs> We're gonna basically be exploring this area today, giving you guys our honest first impressions of what this city is like. And uh, so far, the impression is very good, very positive, super laid back, as I said already. People just seem to take life at a more slower pace, I guess you could say here. It's not like it's a, it's not a rural place. Like there's a lot of people that live here. There's a lot going on pretty much all of the time but uh, people just like to take it easy. There's a lot of cafes, a lot of restaurants, a lot of sort of different ways for you to just kick back and relax. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of people on the street here in Malioboro that are trying to stop us and guide us into different places. So just be aware of that. It's not negative, you just have to really know how to sort of just be like, no thank you, tidak, just say tidak and uh, they'll leave you alone. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here today. And uh, Malioboro, Jalan Malioboro seems to be very, very focused on batik and stuff like that. So uh, it seems like every sort of third or fourth store is uh, for batik clothing, which is really, really cool. And I do believe that Jogja has some special batik as well. Like every area in Indonesia has their own type of batik. And uh, I believe Malioboro is the place to come if you're looking for uh, Jogja batik. <laughs> it's very true. We saw a lot of designs in the Teras little shopping area there. But yeah, guys, let's go. Let's continue to explore Jogja. Tons of batik shops are lining all along Malioboro, Jalan Malioboro. It's really cool to see as well. We saw two guys sitting on the side of the street just casually playing a game of chess. And that will give you a little bit of an understanding or an idea into just how slow paced that this city could be. It's our first day here, so <clears throat> to be honest, we have no idea what to expect just yet. We're gonna be in 
Job Jakarta for around one week so it's plenty of time to explore the city and uh, there's some really interesting modes of transport as well now Naomi and I there's no way in hell that we would ever even fit into one of these <clears throat> but they're everywhere one of and, us uh, each. huh? if we were to take them we would have to take one each I think because we are in terms of hips too wide to yeah. fit in one uh, with the two of us but this is a very very interesting mode of transportation and then you also have um, these like what are they called carriages with like horse carriage oh horse carriage yeah, yeah. Horse, horse carriages all over which is very cool to see because obviously you have the horses in the traffic and then it's sort of combined with the scooters and the cars it's a very very interesting sight uh, in your everyday life I think it's really cool yeah Jakarta is a very unique city so far and the vibe we're getting is it gives off its own creative personality it's also I believe one of the oldest cities in Java so that adds a whole different level of charm to it as well which is brilliant and uh, the vibes here are very very good as well Hi <laughs> bye. Wow, chaos. Wow. I think they were a bicycle club of some sort. Is that what it looked like with the jerseys? Indonesia never fails to uh, surprise us. That's for sure. Oh, it's golden hour golden right hour. now. Look Careful at this. With the traffic. Oh. traffic is pretty hectic right now. Look, look at Naomi. She does not care. She just goes straight through. I'm gonna have to do it as well. <laughs> you have to put the hand up. Yep. Magic hand. <laughs> So at the moment it seems like there's some sort of an event going on um, which leads to this part of the street being accessible for vehicles and this part being completely closed down there's also I don't know there's a show somewhere I don't know where the show is maybe we're gonna have a look and find the stage right hello <laughs> hey so we uh, that was absolute chaos on Jalan Malioboro there was live music, performances, dancers, so many people and uh, pretty much instantly just behind where the stage is we found ourselves in a more like quiet environment and inside of a market of some sort. Hello! Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah this here is the Pasar Sore from what I saw and I thought it would close at like 5 p.m. It's after 5 p.m. now but it's still open so why not have a look around and uh, those dancer dancers had really really nice costumes very colorful obviously traditional beautiful dances uh, wow we didn't expect to see something like this today absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful really uh, crazy first day to be honest like literally the first couple of hours actually that we've been walking around in Jakarta and it has left a forever lasting like positive impact 100% and uh, yeah this market is literally like a maze we've uh, walked in from the side of the street and then just came around and now don't know where we are but we're surrounded by different things that we could be looking at like Bakpia I think I saw Bakpia there and uh, yeah more batik there's batik everywhere so if you are if you are like a shopaholic this is the place Jogjakarta is the place <laughs> That's for sure. It's very interesting as well how quiet it is all of a sudden because the music on the street was so loud and we entered here and like I think the uh, the clothes are acting as like a puffer system or something <laughs> like we're like in an audio <laughs> chamber right now it's very quiet in here and the second we go back out there it's like blasting music but very beautiful music. Hello. 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 <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I understood Sekola. I thought it was something. He said something with spoon, but I don't know. <laughs> so the sun is slowly setting over Jogjakarta, and wow, what a beautiful sight to see just here. Jalan Malioboro where the stage just was that we were the sun is setting just over behind a couple of the buildings and it's providing beautiful light just have a look here
It's gorgeous, huh? Yeah, it's so beautiful with the golden hour right now. I'm posting all of the stories to Instagram <laughs> with the pictures of golden hour here. And uh, as well, a lot of people here are um, grilling, barbecuing uh, satay ayam. So chicken satay is, and uh, it's cool with all of the smoke in the air and the scents. It's very beautiful. Just here behind me now is the palace of Jogjakarta or the president's palace. And uh, the vibe now is sort of slowing down a bit up there on Malioboro the party is in full swing but here it's definitely a little bit more on the mellow side but uh, yeah Jogjakarta so far very impressed and uh, this area here that we're walking towards right now it really seems to be well spread out a lot of the architecture is getting more on the older side more colonial architecture and um, it's a very visually pleasing city, that's for sure. Like everything that you look at is like, I want to take a photo of it. So it's very, very good. Very beautiful. Uh, just up ahead now, there seem to be traditional guards. I don't know if they belong to the palace of the president, like if they're here uh, at all times or if it's just specifically for today for the <laughs> festival. But they look very nice and they have pointy sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we made our way now to Teras Malioboro Satu, which is the number one. And we found a huge sort of pasar malam just on the side of it. Um, and we're currently looking for some food. Maybe we're going to get inspired on what Jogja has to offer in terms of makanan, in terms of food around here. Mm -hmm. I can see that they have good egg. Good egg, yeah. In one of the bowls they have good egg, yeah. One of the must try ones. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hey, Hello. Good. <laughs> Hello. Mantul. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Magnus. What's your name? Luke. 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 Yeah. Oh, my name is Patricia. Patricia? Yes. Patricia. Naomi. 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 Yeah. Australia? Where are you from? Oh, Germany. Irlandia. Oh, Irlandia. Oh, my God. So beautiful. <laughs> Indonesia is beautiful. Oh, yeah. it's your country too. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Where do you think is the best place for food? For food in Prawiro Taman. Hmm? Prawiro Taman. Is that close by? Uh, Rumah makan soto. Soto. Soto, Soto. Pak Parno. Is, uh, the, yes. the food place is here. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's German. It's <laughs> German. I like it. Yes. Oh, thank you. I love your hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you. Very beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Yes, thank you so much. Too. I like you. I. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get married. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much, Makasi. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Makasi, malam. Bye bye. Oh. I love your eyes. I like your, your hair. hair. I like your face. I never know what to answer. I'm just like so. I'm blushing. <laughs> wow, there's so many uh, different food stalls to choose from here. Literally hundreds, and um, as I keep saying, the vibe is good in Jogja. Yeah, a lot of the food stands seem to, seem to be selling uh, some sort of satay. I don't know if it's like chicken or lamb or goat or I don't know, um, but we can find out. Yep. This looks like a good egg satay. Can we? I don't know how many do you want? You can like mix and match, like uh, maybe three each. Uh, politica yam, then politica ini. Sepulu, Three. Sepulu. Oh, sepulu, sepulu. Uh, just, just ten, ten. No, ten, ten. Uh, five, five. Five, five. Okay. 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 Yeah, five, five. Then uh, lontong satu. Thank you. Thank Okay, so we got a mix of things. We got five uh, satay ayam, so chicken satays, and we got 
five. I'm still not sure what it is. I assume it has something to do with a cow skin or something like that. And we also got a lontong uh, with some peanut sauce here with kacang sauce. And uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward the most to the lontong. It's one of my favorite things since we came to Indonesia. Mm. Oh yeah, this is very nice, very nice lontong. Mm. And uh, the chili, the peanut sauce seems to be mixed with um, some sort of chili. So it's quite, it's like on the spicy end of life. A little bit sweet and the rest is peanutty. And uh, should I go in and try the chicken first or the unidentified object? Maybe try the chicken, yeah. Chicken. <laughs> this is very nice, very nice. Absolutely amazing. Now on to the unidentified object. No clue what it is. Really? It's tasty, it's kind of sweet. It looks like uh, the sweet cow skin that we Little had gelatinous. on the Nazi good egg before. Yeah, maybe, maybe similar. I think, I think it might be that it's like gelatinous. A little bit sweet. Uh, you have obviously the like uh, charred type of flavors in there. Do you want to give the unidentified object a try? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys. Whatever this is, let's see. Mm. Very juicy, gelatinous, interesting texture, but very delicious. I think it's cow skin. I'm gonna guess. Let us know down Maybe. below in the comments. It might as well be cow knee or something like that, mm -hmm. like what I, what we had in the Nasi Padang place in Jakarta. It might be something like that as well, something That's joint, cow joint. Also possible. <laughs> I'll try the satay ayam as well, the chicken. Oh, satay ayam is the... Uh, the winner, 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 chicken, I am dinner. <laughs> chicken. Winner, winner, chicken satay dinner. <laughs> I, I'm lantang. trying to give you a lantang with the sauce. The sauce is very nice. Oh. Beautiful sauce. Let's give it a try here. Looks interesting. Lantang. My favorite. Mm. Heaven. The peanut sauce is delicious. It's like, um, it's not too thick, it's not too rich, it's not like uh, peanut butter. Like we had a uh, gado gado when we were in Jakarta. And um, that was a much richer, thicker, almost like a peanut butter consistency on that one. We went to gado gado boplo uh, <laughs> near Tamarind City. But um, this one is a little bit more thinner, but more flavorful and it matches with that meat it's really really good i think it might be pre-mixed with some sort of a sambal like a fruity spicy sambal in there as well so and i think that's why it's like a little bit thinner because obviously you if you add like vinegar and chili sauce and whatever it, it gets a little thinner but uh yeah i'm in love with this i could spend the night here i think some part of it went on the floor <laughs> came out of the market after that absolutely amazing food so so good still no idea what it was but it was very tasty and we came out here and there was a big big celebration on the street everybody was dancing it was sort of like a line dance type of situation but Indonesian line dance if you want to say it like that and it's so beautiful the people here are so warm so open-minded open-hearted just welcoming and uh, yeah if you're looking at visiting Java or Jogja just go for it nothing is stopping you this is beautiful Epic scenes, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 
that's where the ladies I just danced with. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. So this is the the current scenes on Malioboro Street. Wow. We're gonna join the picture now. Hello. 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 <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna go to the front. Good morning from just outside of Jog Jakarta. We rented two scooters and um, today we're just exploring around on a little bit of an adventure road trip and we're going to bring you guys with us. Right now we're currently waiting for some breakfast at a local style warung. Well local style it is local we are literally in the middle of nowhere right now and uh, yeah guys we're going to bring you around with us explore the rural side of Indonesia, show you some real authentic people, some local people, some local uh, atmosphere and nature. We're very, very excited. This is exactly the type of stuff that we want to be doing. And uh, get outside of the big city, the big city life, and bring you guys here to where the real stuff is happening. Hello. We're both so hungry, oh my god. <laughs> Woo, drinks. Makasi. Makasi. Uh, ini te manis. Ini lemon. Ini lemon. Ah, makasi. Yes. Makasi. Yeah. yeah. Starting the day off right with some iced tea. And the prayer in the back. And the prayer. <laughs> Nice lemon tea, lemon iced tea, or I think I have a tea manis actually. You have sweet tea. Yeah. Sweet tea. But uh, it's a pretty hot day outside here guys and we have been riding our scooters around and we figured that we would just pull out the camera and bring you guys along on a little bit of an adventure. We figured that we would get outside of Jogja and explore some of the lesser explored places, which is our absolute favorite way to do things. This is the first time actually that we've rented scooters uh, since we arrived in Indonesia. Since we and started traveling. Since we started traveling actually. Yeah. We had an ATV for a while in Turkey but that was like the only time we rented a vehicle. Yeah. And uh, yeah this is the second time with vehicle, first time with scooter and uh, <sighs> is it good? It's really good. Ah. It is sweet though. And just to, so you know, if you want to have, I think we have like 110 cc. That's why we have two scooters. Yep. Um, we paid 70,000 Indonesian rupiah per, per scooter per day. So yeah. it's not bad at just all. Just around like four euro. Yeah. Super affordable. And Very uh, nice people who rented them out to us as well. Great service. I cannot complain. The level of freedom that it gives you when you have a scooter is unmatched. Uh, we've just been cruising around the countryside saw some cool things and we figured yeah we'd bring you guys along with us so I hope you guys enjoy this video right now as I said 
we're just waiting for some breakfast. Uh, both of us are feeling pretty hungry and probably pretty sunburnt because we've been on the scooters for a while. No. <laughs> Let's get some food. <laughs> I think I'm not sunburned. <laughs> okay, everybody. So the breakfast just came out and I went for basically a combo that this warung had or a packet hemat. And it is I am Gip Giprek and uh, Nasi. So I am Giprek and rice. Now, I'm not too sure what Giprek means, but it looks like it's pretty spicy. It looks like it has quite a bit of sambal. So it's definitely gonna uh, spice me alive, I think, and uh, keep me awake while we're on the scooter. And uh, Naomi went for Soto Ayam. And um, it is basically, oh, Giprek means smash. Smash, apparently, which, so um, I have a smashed chicken and uh, it actually does kind of look like the chicken got a, like a little bit of a hammering. Oh, um, <laughs> poor chicken. And uh, Naomi has the Soto I am and uh, it looks absolutely delicious to be it honest. It looks so, so beautiful. You, I can already see all of the beautiful coriander in there. Um, you can see the chicken, the fresh vegetables, some rice. It's sort of a mix of everything that exists in the kitchen, I want to say, and it looks beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna dig in and um, still enjoying this amazing tea as well. I find the tea very interesting. Because it's a uh, jasmine tea. It is jasmine tea, yeah. yeah. Something very different. Um, in a lot of the cities that we've been to, you get black tea, no? you get black, tea uh, black or green tea. And here we got jasmine, so a little bit of a twist. Ooh, I didn't think, sorry, I just got surprised. <laughs> I even have glass noodles in here. I don't know if you oh, can wow. see it. Nice. Um, glass noodles, rice, some nice, uh, oh, what is this? This is some, what is it? Like beans? Maybe like a bean or like cabbage, a bean. like a bean sprout. I don't know. This looks a little bit like a bean sprout, but I'm not- Bean wait, sprouts. Not a hundred percent on it. Tastes very different to what I tried so far. Unidentified bean sprout. You try it. Tell me if it's a bean sprout. Tastes different. It tastes different. This is the best part, guys, about coming and exploring different places because they put it in, it's there, it's in the dish. If you don't know it, hard luck. <laughs> you have to eat it anyway. Yep. I'm gonna give the Soto Ayam a try. Okay, let's give the Soto Ayam a try with the nice... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, with the nice glass noodles. I think I have some dust in my nose. Big spoon. Let it marinate the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. If you put a little bit of everything onto the spoon, it's absolutely amazing. You also have these like uh, roasted onions in there, which gives it a lot of taste. Um, beautiful coriander, carrots, glass noodles, rice, unidentified bean sprouts, um, all of that good stuff. It goes beautiful together. And of course, you can always add a little bit of ketchup in there as well, which I'm going to do. Mmm, yeah. I am Gaprek guys, so smash smash chicken. Smashed chicken. Smash. Or smash. I'm just gonna smash it all together. You're gonna, and I'm smash, gonna the chicken. smash it. And I'm gonna put my what looks to be very volatile red chili. And I have my smashed chicken here with this rice. Which seems to be like a like a sticky rice. Really cool. Not everywhere that you get sticky rice here in Indonesia. And I'm just basically gonna place it like this on my spoon and then um, go for it. There's quite a lot of chili on here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Mmm. That's absolutely delicious. It's not as hot as it looks. It looked at, like in the beginning that it was gonna blow my face off because there's a lot of reds, there's a lot of chili flake seeds in there. So I really thought I was about to get my ass kicked, but this is perfect, perfect level of spice. Chicken is amazing and tender and the rice is nice and sticky and a little bit of a chew to it. So this is amazing. 
Maybe she prepared the boule version for you. Maybe. <laughs> Might have got the boule version, but um, <laughs> this is delicious. This is fantastic. For the price that we paid, there's horses going by. Like Horse carriages, sorry. I got distracted. Every couple of minutes, there's horses going by. So to give you guys an idea of exactly where we are, we're actually very close to Barobador temp Temple. And we're also just outside of Magalang. Sort of nestled between Magalang and Jogjakarta. Somewhere in the middle. And um, there's beautiful nature all around here. The roads are pretty fantastic. They mm. kind of zigzag between loads of greenery. As always, the nature here in Indonesia, genuinely one of the best countries in the world. Um, I think even more beautiful than places like, for example, Switzerland, if that's something that you like. There's no snow. Not comparison. <laughs> There's no snow in Indonesia, obviously. It's a tropical climate, but the, this is absolutely beautiful. Is there not the largest mountain? Maybe they have snow there? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to say is um, that the roads towards Borobudur from Jogjakarta are, are also very, very good, very accessible, even if you just drive a scooter. There's two different roads that you can take. One of them is an interstate and one of them is a little bit more sort of naturey, off the beaten path type of a road. And we are on the off the beaten path road because we didn't want to take an interstate with a 110cc scooter. That's true. But, um, <laughs> just so you know. I think what we're going to do is explore the nature today. Try and bring you guys around a little bit of greenery. And we might go towards... <laughs> Spicy? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop hitting me. Naomi's dying. We might head towards Magalang, <laughs> which is around half an hour on like the 19 kilometers. 19 from kilometers here. from here. So we might go <laughs> and check that out. And uh, yeah, guys, today is really there is no plan. We're just gonna explore and uh, yeah, see what happens. Basically, best type of day. The food was absolutely delicious came to just 25,000 IDR. That's less than two euro for breakfast. And that's the advantage, guys, of stepping away from the crazy tourist places and uh, going to the more local atmosphere. The people here are so friendly, so happy to see us. And we are so happy to enjoy the Indonesian cuisine. And uh, next up, we're gonna head in the direction of Magalang maybe do a, a day trip around Magalang and show you guys the beautiful nature I'm sure that is surrounding that place. A lot of you guys have told us to check out Magalang, <clears throat> especially over on our social medias. If you're not already following us, check out our Instagram, check out our Facebook. We are keeping you up to date with exactly where we are um, on those social medias. And um, yeah, guys, I wanna say, let's go check out Magalang and check out some of the amazing nature that Indonesia has to offer. So where are we? We're somewhere in Magalang. <laughs> we just drove through the city of Magalang. Now we came to an area that is a little bit more sort of outside, I want to say, and uh, we're currently looking for a market, but there's also a really nice view here. I believe you can see it from here. Oh yeah. How beautiful is this? Absolutely gorgeous around here. This is definitely somewhere that we would not have been able to visit if we didn't have our scooters so if you are thinking about exploring places like this think about getting a scooter if you're in Indonesia because wow it's gorgeous We've got some like kind of local stores here and um, very small town vibes all around here to be honest it's very very picturesque you've got Warungs, you've got like a little river here as well that runs runs through here. It's beautiful. 
currently looking for a place called Pasar Bandongan or Bendongan or one of the Dongans and uh, it's apparently Bandongan. It's apparently a market somewhere close to here and it would be nice to, to have like a little look inside of a typical local Indonesian market somewhere in Magalang. So far first impressions of Magalang it seems seems to be a very small quaint smaller version almost of uh, Jogjakarta. Very very cool though um, definitely a unique looking place so it's basically uh, what it seems to be is like a small town of development built within loads of beautiful nature rice paddy fields we drove past many many uh, farmers and stuff like that and um, it's a beautiful part of Indonesia for sure but yeah I think we're gonna try and find this pasar and uh, see what we can see the amount of times we lost our path as well um, just trying to get from uh, Borobudur basically up here we, we I don't know I don't know. I feel, I feel like we, yeah. we went the wrong turn probably 10, 15 times, which yep. is probably why we look a little bit confused. It is because we are confused. <laughs> Very confused. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you go outside of major cities in Indonesia, Google Maps is not really your friend anymore. And uh, I have like a ear, an AirPod that I keep in my ear in one ear just so I can hear the traffic. And it's telling me where to go and wow. It's a little bit confusing. I'm going around in circles. I think I circled Magalang once already. But yeah, we'll see if we can find the bazaar. I probably look ridiculous. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> All right, we made it to Pasar Bandongan. We only got lost two additional times, <laughs> but we made it. And uh, we're very, very curious to see what actually they have to sell here. And uh, maybe I'm gonna fill up Luke's backpack with a lot of pineapple. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. We'll see, yeah. Pasar Bandongan, in literally the middle of nowhere in Magalang. <laughs> Your phone, my phone, camera? Yeah. Mm -mm. Hello. Yeah. Pakai <laughs> pakai ini dulu. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's so much more than anticipated. Turn the camera this way. Look at how much fruits, vegetable, everything. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hello. 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 Look <laughs> at. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I don't remember the name. Ini Shawa. 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 Yeah. Oh. Is the name? Lama. <laughs> oh, Shawa. Oh. Salak. 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 Might be the the. <laughs> I think the local dialect is a little bit different than what we usually yeah. learn. Foto bole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foto bole. Bole. Bole silakan. Bole silakan. Bole, Saya foto ya, cepat ya. Come selfie. Oh ya, sebentar, sebentar. Selfie, selfie. Ya sebentar tu. Kau saya tahu. Eh. Ya orang. Ini ini mau foto. Chaos. We're like giants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah. Ini bagus? Bagus. Ini? Yeah. Lima ribu. Mantul. Lima ribu. Yeah. Tasty. Lima ribu, three thousand. Nice. Lima ribu for satu or yeah. satu kilo? Satu. 
Satu. Okay, let's take uh, tiga. Bersama apa? Buah naga. Hello. 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 Jogja. Dari Jogja ke saya. Yeah. Take Dari. motor, come here. Dari Malopuro. Yeah. Ah, dekat rumah saya. Oh, nice. Kasongan. Ya, yeah, dekat sana. <laughs> Is this Lima enough? Hari, ya. 15, enough? Yeah. ya. Kurang... Ini tiga kan? Huh? Tiga kan 15 ribu. I'm confused. 15 ribu. <laughs> Just take. Oh, ya. Yeah. Yang ini, sama ini. Sama ini. Okay. Ini ya. Nice. Ah, okay. okay. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Thank you. Ya. Sampai jumpa. Nama beli Hello. sayur. Hello. <laughs> Nama beli sayur. Hello. <laughs> Bisa bahasa Indonesia ya? Uh, Bisa bahasa Indonesia. Sedikit-sedikit. Little bit bahasa. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sudah nggak bisa bahasa Inggris. <laughs> crazy. She's a crazy woman. She's, she's selling a... <laughs> she's selling. Can you do... She's doing a sale. Jengkol. In Jengkol. Jengkol? Yeah. Oh. What is that? Top Markel. We tried it in the uh, Nasi Padang. Magnus? Magnus. Mantul? Mantul. 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 Mau berapa ini? Can you do uh, 500 gram? Wait. This market is huge. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Naomi is currently trying to translate. Have a look at this. This is where we are, guys, in case you do want to come and experience something off the beaten path for sure. Hello. <laughs> For half a kilo, 13,000. I don't I think it's okay, it's fine. Yeah. Udah? Ini aja? Ini aja? Ini manggis. Manggis. Ah, no, no, tidak. Oh, tidak, tidak. No, no, you know. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Mai keras aja. Okay, okay, okay. Keras aja, Mai. Luke has to carry all of the fruit back home. Yeah, it has, it's going in my backpack. <laughs> Okay, so I already acquired pineapples and uh, oranges, small oranges. And uh, it's really, really funny to see because the people here are really excited to see uh, foreigners. Hello, foreigners in the area. Tempe, mm. mantul. <laughs> it's really interesting because it seems like not, not a whole lot of foreigners uh, sort of get lost in this area. And uh, we seem to be probably the first ones. So Literally zero. The looks on people. Every single person in here has taken a photo of us. Yeah. So that will give you. An Which idea. is nice. Like we, we don't mind at all. Don't don't think that. Photo. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> don't think that we mind taking pictures at all. Dari mana? Dari mana? Dari dia dari Irlandia. Dan saya Jerman. Mix. Mix mix. Ooh, nice chili. Yeah. Chili, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut. You want? You want chilies? Chilies. I don't know. Oh. She looks very pedas. keen. Yeah. Ini pedas. 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 Yeah. Pedas. 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 Oh, <laughs> very <super> pedas. pedas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want some chili? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Like small amount. How much? Just take two hundred gram or something. Two hundred gram. Small. Just but stop. Sado kilo. No, I did that. 200 gram. 200 Small. gram. I, don't, I hope she doesn't think that I said two kilo. Or 200 kilo. Or 200 kilo. <laughs> I meant 200 gram. 200 kilos. We're gonna need Noah's Ark to get you back to Georgia Carter. Uh, yep. No, my wallet, if you wanna pay. Oh, wallet. You can have the game of trying to understand how much it is what yeah. you're trying to buy. Makasi. <laughs> okay, okay, she understood 200 grams. Yeah. Oh, map. Ah, tidak, makasi. Eh, berapa? 2,000. 20,000? 20,000. Oh my god. 2,000. Yeah, 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 2,000. Yeah,
I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. I think she's adding more. Oh, she's more. adding more up to five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, now, now you get 500 grams. <laughs> we don't even cook. We just want to support the locals. <laughs> we're going to give, we're going to be handing chilies yeah, out to people. Hey? Arab. Pilang, pilang, kata kata seperti Arab gitu. Arab. Arab. The chili. I'm confused, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Inggris. Makasih. Jadi makasih banyak. Sampai jumpa lagi. Bye bye. Who mau beli apa bu? The bag is getting heavier. And the support continues, guys. Wow. Banana support. Ini ya bu. Hello. Hello. Ini tak mau beli. Tomat. Oh ya tomat. Tomat. Ya beli ini bu. Tomat. Ginger. Ini jahe. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 200 gram. How do you say 200 gram? I don't know. Try and find out. Grab stop, stop. Google Translate. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Not so much. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Let me explain, woman. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Google Translate? Uh, can you do 200 gram? Is this how you spell gram? No, and one M. One M. Oh, it's the same. 200. 200. Very poop. Sekini. Dua zero zero. Five zero zero. Maripu ya. Okay. Yeah. She won. I don't know. Half a kilo of ginger. Well, we are gonna drink a lot of tea. Oh my god. Oh well. Oh well. I think this way we're spending the money a lot better than going to Borobudur. Yeah, that's that's true. And the money is going directly to the people here. Bilangnya bisa sama sini bilangnya. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know five. This or fifty. Upa. Yeah, yeah, uta. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Makasi. Makasi ya. Ini enggak. Ini oh, like. ini namanya apa? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like. Makasi. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> uh, go, go. What you, how do you say smush? It's gonna Gaprek? be destroyed. Uh, Gaprek. 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 Oh yeah. Oh Gaprek. Yeah. Di situ udah. Yeah. Yeah. Makasih. Yeah. Yeah. Makasih. Hello. Oh, bless you. Mix nice. Mix nice. So yeah, initially we were planning to go to Borobudur, but we figured this is a better way to spend the day, and uh, I'm already so so happy that we actually decided to do That's it. That's true. Yeah. Hello. Much better. What do you have? Ooh. Potato. What is this? I don't know what it is. I don't know. Is Some sort of a spiky. Well, spiky bok choy fruit. and uh, onions, obviously. But what is this? Can anybody tell me what it is and if I should eat it? I don't know. I don't know. Luwe. Luwe. Ah, di masa. Oh. Sayur, di sayur. Sayur, sour. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, makasih. Yeah. <laughs> oh. If Indonesians say sayur, maybe not. The yeah. joy for us might be very sayur. Hello. <laughs> what else? I saw some. Oh, we. I think we walked past it. I saw some kropuk and stuff like crackers. <laughs> yeah. Hello. She has pink kropuk. <laughs> Very tall. <laughs> Remove the camera equipment. Insert the goodies. <laughs> I think the camera will still have space though. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Come on. We can just not buy bananas because we will just have like banana puree. That's true. Okay. And now we're gonna maybe explore a little bit downstairs and then we're gonna go check out some nature. Hello. Hmm? What do you, how do you say uh, cow skin, cow grinds? Cow, yeah. It's a pork grinds, cow grinds. Oop. Like a crop. Yeah, yeah. Like a, no, like the skin. Yeah. Right skin. Yeah, yeah. You do selfie? Uh -uh. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everything looks so tasty. All right, making our way deep into the pasar. There's some hidden tokos here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm just currently looking for something cold to drink. 
Yeah. I don't know if they something maybe have like iced tea or iced water. That would be nice. Water or something, I don't know. I want to buy all of the krupuk, but we only have limited space. Bisa bahasa Indonesia? Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay, sih. Nice. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, no. Switch, switch. Oh, we have to put the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much work. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Thank you, thank you. Matur nuwun. Matur nuwun, Jawa. Terima kasih. Terima kasih Indonesia. Thank you, English. Oh, yeah, yeah. English. Thank you. Terima kasih. Matur nuwun. Matur nuwun. Ya. Matur nuwun. Thank you. Sunda. 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 Kalau Jawa matur suwun. Oh. Kalau Jawa matur suwun, nak Sunda matur nuwun. Oh, okay. Mana? Wow. Irlandia. 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 Dan Jerman. Wow, Jerman. Leopak. Leopak. Leopak apa tank? Tank Leopak. Nah, Jerman tank Leopak. I don't know. Oh, I'm a le I'm a leopard. He's saying I'm a leopard. What? You're a cougar. No, I'm not a cougar. Makasih, makasih. Makasih. Tank lepak, made in Jerman. Ah, the tank. He means the tank. Oh, the tank. The boom boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I know. Terima kasih. Matur nuwun. Number one. What are we trying? I'm part of the shop now. Do I also have to put on glasses? Yes. I know she's taking another picture inside the toko. <laughs> There's a real photo session happening, guys. Since we've arrived here, we've been literally the focal point of the market. It's it's amazing. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my god, she gave me the. Quicker flowers for free. Ini mantul, mantul. Terima kasih banyak. Sampai jumpa lagi. Sampai jumpa. Bye bye. Berapa? Tak usah, gratis. Oh, also gratis. You want? Yeah, sure. It's a kerupuk. Kerupuk. Ah, enak kerupuk tu dari kulit. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, it's good with the soto on top. With the soup. Soto. Soup. Oh, with soup. With soup. With soto. Crunch. Click, click, click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, terima kasih banyak. You sure? She's sure that she wants to give it from Germany. Germany and Ireland. Irlandia. Oh, Irlandia. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they want pictures and they're paying me in snacks. <laughs> wow, everything is free in Magalang. <laughs> okay, okay. Happy. Sampai jumpa lagi. Sampai jumpa. <laughs> Makasih. We have all of the snacks for free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we really love Magalang so far. This place is out of this world. We just got a whole bunch of stuff for free. Now we're gonna go explore. And now we can go back to getting lost. <laughs> oh Jesus, I need an iced tea or something, I think.
after all those selfies. I think next up we're gonna try and find ourselves a warung, like a, another warung, somewhere maybe around nature or something like that. And yeah, maybe grab ourselves an iced tea uh, or maybe a snack to eat, a kuda pan or something. Let's see. Made a quick pit stop. We just made our way back from Melang through Barobador and we're on our way back now towards Jogja. We're actually looking for a nice place to stop for a cold drink and maybe a snack as well because we're feeling a little bit hungry after all of the exploring today. But just have a look at how absolutely gorgeous this is. This is out of this world and you're only going to see something like this on the side of a road in Indonesia. You've got the mountains in the background, this beautiful lake, absolutely no garbage. And it's running down under this bridge over here to the other side. I'm going to see you now if I can run across real quick to show you guys the other side and just how beautiful that is. Look at that. This is crazy. Really crazy. That's what you get guys. Indonesia. Unbelievable. Jaw-droppingly beautiful. Everywhere we've been so far today. It's amazing. Made our way here to a warung. Hello. Oh, photo. Yeah. yeah. There's always a photo to be taken in Indonesia, that's for sure. But yeah, guys, we made our way to a warung. Right beside, actually, where I was just talking to you guys. And um, it's a beautiful building just on the side of the road. An entirely, basically, wooden and brick constructed house here next to the beautiful river. I'm not too sure what the river is, but it's gorgeous. Oh, we got some well-deserved uh, beverages. I went with an iced tea and a water and Luke went with a Coca-Cola and a water. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I have been wearing long sleeves all day because I knew I was going to get burned. But now my hand is crazy burnt and my arm isn't so I'm gonna have really tanned hands yeah but really white arms <laughs> Lucas just burned all over my entire arms are burnt to a crisp so I'm gonna have to put some yogurt or some aloe vera or something vera, like that yeah. I think aloe vera might be easier to find yeah <laughs> true depending on where we go <laughs> next <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. How beautiful is this? Oh it's my madness. God. Oh, he nearly crashed. <laughs> I crashed? He, they oh. nearly crashed. <laughs> is he pointing at us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is paradise. So we just dropped our scooters off. Um, there's the sign actually. If you're looking for scooter rental, FR rent, Jogja. 70,000 uh, rupiah for uh, 110 cc so and we didn't have any issues renting and giving them back it was all fine so yeah we can recommend them <laughs> what's wrong Guys, we made our way well up into the highlands of Solo to a place called Kemuning. And there's apparently like a skywalk or a sky bridge that we're gonna be checking out. And um, we were in the car for roughly around 45 minutes or so. Made our way up here. Our amazing Airbnb host 
Sigurd is uh, with us for the next two days. For the next 48 hours we're going to be exploring Solo and what it has to offer. And yeah guys, we're gonna check out this area, see what type of views we can get. It looks to be absolutely gorgeous around here. There's a lot of greenery, a lot of nature. Just have a look at this. Did you see the My God. How beautiful is the tea plantation? It's uh, always the number one thing that I en enjoy in the mountainous areas is the scent of the tea. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Really amazing. Now I'm very very curious to see how Luke is going to perform because Luke has some, uh, well he's a little bit scared of heights, let's say it like this. And uh, this is the sky bridge we're currently planning on going on and apparently this bridge has a glass floor. So yeah, there will definitely be challenging for Luke. We're gonna see how he will perform. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure terrified. it's gonna be really nice. For me, it's gonna be nice. For Luke, it's gonna be whatever. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> Welcome to Kamuning. Kamuning. Ah, very nice place. Hello. 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 <laughs> to Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy is this, huh? Yeah, this is the first glass part and it's already a little bit... Like for me it's a little bit scary, for Luke it's probably... A Terrifying. Lot, a little bit scary. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is epic though. I cannot wrap my head around this. This is so beautiful. It's it literally so nice. just juts out from the hillside here. Yeah. So cool. So windy as well. Very like fresh air in comparison to the big city areas. So it's yeah. super nice. It's incredible. Oh so my God. scary. Terrifying. <laughs> Don't look <laughs> down. <laughs> you can concentrate on walking. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, looking down is not a thing right now. <laughs> Wonderful style. Oh. Yes, oh for the first God. time. It will be scary, but oh. you know, if, if you want to take that part, then I have to have the shuffle. <laughs> He's not lifting his feet anymore. <laughs> oh my god, how beautiful is this? Yeah. Scary but beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much for showing us. No yeah. problem, it's my pleasure. You see the, the wind, mm. it's a blowing and very cool. <laughs> it's not too bad weather. No, the weather is nice. The weather is nice. Hello! In the morning it's very clear. Yeah. All of the... And sunrise. Uh -huh. You can see the sunrise here? The sunrise there, yes, yes, over there. Oh, that yeah. must be so beautiful. <laughs> Luke stopped, of course, in the green part. <laughs> Not in the glass part. <laughs> Safe place. <laughs> You really scared or just Terri terrified? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> 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 He's so scared. <laughs> Funny. that I did it. I'm currently standing in the middle of this see-through glass bridge right now and um, it is pretty far down but the views, the nature, I cannot believe that this is Indonesia to be honest. This is out of this world. Really really blown away. Every day that we're here 
is a new experience to be honest and I'm holding on for dear life onto every railing here. The tales of Luke being scared continue. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> Making fun. <laughs> ah, 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 I don't believe. You are the I mad explorer it. here. <laughs> <laughs> Luke also, but also more also more in a calm more way. More of a sad explorer. <laughs> more in a subtle explorer way. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Show the camera how you walk. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you for overcoming your fears. So proud? Yes. Yeah, I feel like uh, I've accomplished something today. For I need sure. to I need to get like a trophy, like a little trophy, maybe an ice cream. We're gonna get you a trophy and an ice cream. Maybe we can buy a trophy and put the ice cream inside. That's a good idea. On top. <laughs> <laughs> Here, something that local tourists would do to visit? Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the newest one. Mm -hmm. uh, just recently. Sorry. It is open, I think it's about uh, six months ago. Mm, six months? Uh, six yeah. months ago, yeah, about six, about six months ago. Yeah. Previously, only uh, maybe only 100 meters here, but now it's more than that. Now it's more than that, yeah. yeah. And other than that, the area is known for durian. Production. Oh yes, yes. And here tea. is the nearby here is the center of the durian. So when the durian season, you can enjoy durian. Mm -hmm. And I and my wife love durian very much. <laughs> Sometimes I bring uh, my friend uh, from Germany or maybe from Australia to test whether you are you are like Indonesian. <laughs> if you eat durian, it means that you are Indonesian. <laughs> it's the test that you have to you have to yeah. not fail the test, you have to but pass. <laughs> yes, yes. Only five, two among five is pass. <laughs> <laughs> like very, you, like you. Very little you passing like, rate, uh, no? <laughs> but you like pate, yeah? This is not pate. No, uh, no, jengkol. Jengkol, jengkol, yeah. Jengkol is nice. Stinky bean is nice. Stinky bean. Oh, you eat it's nice, bean. yeah. Yeah. We had a nasi padang. Oh. They had they had stinky bean. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Luke left us. <laughs> Luke is just gone. <laughs> what an amazing first stop for today. And but now we are going to continue on a little bit higher up actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there in the distance. About there is where we're going now uh, to visit a temple and apparently you have a very very nice view from the temple and this temple is from the year of 1200 uh, from what i understood so it's i think a little bit like lying in ruins at the moment um, but yeah we're gonna go higher up and then probably enjoy the sunset from there we're currently driving through lemba capital snan or the valley of love and I can tell you something guys, we absolutely love the views that we are seeing out the window <laughs> right now. It is incredible. What do you think? It's so so beautiful. I just I'm so in love with it, especially now it's sort of golden hour. We're getting closer. <laughs> We're getting closer to sunset. So uh, yeah, the views are uh, spectacular here with the beautiful colors in the sky really really amazing and um, it takes some really uh, I want to say balls of steel to drive up these types of hills as yeah. well these are uh, pretty steep hills I know I would never be able to drive up here a car <laughs> we just parked up here and um, made our way to this. Oh my god. <laughs> Every place we're going, it's just getting more and more beautiful. This is crazy. 
And this here is apparently one of the last Hindu communities uh, in the area. I don't know if he meant all of Java or just the area. I believe it was this area here. And uh, it's so, so beautiful. You even have these types of uh, nicely decorated gates and so on that look similar to the ones in Bali. Now he said that Bali probably copied the ones from here. So <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who started it, the trend, but uh, it's very beautiful to look at. <laughs> yeah, insanely beautiful, gorgeous houses and then the backdrop of the amazing hillside of Solo, Indonesia. Wow! So it appears that the temple that we wanted to go to for sunset is closed, unfortunately. But we're still way up here, trying to figure out if, if they're willing to open it up for us. The views all around here are out of this world. like unlike anything that we've ever seen have a look here we've got like a balinese style gate because we are in one of the last remaining hindu communities have a look oh. so beautiful so stunning to look at also the the statues here directly in front um, very very cool to see And all over the village you can hear different animal sounds. Yeah. It's very cool to see the different to hear the cows and the goats and chicken and whatever. <laughs> it's really cool. Just closed a minute ago. Yeah, Parusatse. Just closed a minute ago. Yeah, a minute ago. You cannot convince them. <laughs> <laughs> wink wink. We want to have a sunset in yeah. the top. Yeah. But in that. This is very so beautiful here, though. Oh, maybe we Look just at the seats. <laughs> we just sit there and then yeah. uh, have a, some glass of coffee. That'd be good, yeah. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Never say no to sun. coffee. This is why we love Indonesia so much because uh -huh. Indonesians love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the, the, the coffee in Indonesia has so many varieties. Yeah, mm. yeah. best Every in the world. Every area have its own. Yep. From Robusta, Arabica, Liberica, and some other variety. Yep. Yeah. Veronica. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susanna. Susanna. <laughs> now me. Now me. <laughs> All of them. Red hot chili peppers. <laughs> but now Indonesia is very well known because we have a very uh, fundamental uh, oh, singer. Photo. Yeah. Putri Ariani. <laughs> ah. yeah. Where we are right now, we're actually at the base camp of Mount Lawu and from this base camp, this particular place, it's around eight hours up. So that'll give you a little bit of an idea and we're already very, very elevated in terms of where we are and uh, yeah, eight more hours. We're very, very lucky to be in a car. <laughs> little pit stop to appreciate the sunset it's so beautiful now because you have a perfect view over the sky bridge and then the red ball that we call Sun <laughs> it's really nice beautiful unbelievable we've been driving down the hillside now for the last sort of half an hour kind of chasing the sunset amazing I cannot. <laughs> 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 
have you take a picture in the in between the oh Whoa. my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is the name? Uh, Sompia. Sompia. <laughs> Sompia. Oh. Very good. <laughs> I'm already halfway through the snack. Mm. 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 Delicious. <laughs> oh, ginger with milk. Hot and fried, hot and fried. I don't know what he said. Yes. Oh, I have food. <laughs> I'm confused. It's always tofu. Uh, Green, green pa tofu. Vegetable. Mm. Vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The man just said that this is the only place that you can try this one, which I believe has something to do with rice noodles. I'm not a hundred percent sure. We will have to unpack this beautiful leaf in order to understand what is on the inside, because uh, it seems like <laughs> we're currently trying to figure it out what is what. Also, where do we pay? It's an absolute feast going on right here, and it seems to be obviously like a sorry like a buffet style so you do have choice of what you want to eat and uh, you just load up your plate and then you pay for whatever you want basically but um, we're definitely feeling hungry we've been exploring around the highlands surrounding solo pretty much all day now so let's see what we can uh, devour here at this place they are, they're, they are currently discussing what we are going to drink <laughs> I like having no choice because then you can just try whatever uh, the locals approve of and uh, I feel like that's a better way than standing here and trying to figure out what is what, you know? <laughs> so we're actually sitting right next to where everything is being sold here. It's an absolute chaos right now. They're trying to explain to us what is what, but the, the, the ingredients are <laughs> like a little bit difficult. But uh, it's nice. Anyway, we were just told that it's so hot. Yeah. We should try this one. You know their motto? Yeah. Eat whatever you want and pay whatever you remember. Oh. <laughs> it's the best. It's a trusty system. Yeah, yeah. Sugar here. Good one. I believe this is Yahe Kenjur Jeruk. So it's uh, ginger, orange, and whatever Kenjur is. I don't know what Kenjur is. <laughs> but it smells very nice. Oh, it's super hot. Mm. It tastes like a, like a hot lemon with ginger. But like with uh, with fresh ingredients, so it's not like you know the the type of little powdery baggies that you can buy in Europe. It's like fresh ingredients, so it's really really tasty, uh, but unexpected. Yeah. And you have a lot of stuff floating around in it. I don't know what to do with all of the stuff that is in it. When my second son want to sing, and then if they have a problem with their throat, the people are singing, and they yeah, drink the this one. Oh, <laughs> this is the cure. Yeah, it's like lontong. Huh? No lontong. Similar enough to lontong. It's nice. Mm. Tastes a little. No, this one tastes a little bit more uh, coconutty. So like a coconutty lontong. So the biggest and hardest decision to make when we come to a, a new place like this and we're brought here by locals is what exactly to try and figuring out what that is. So I have this here, which I have no idea, literally no idea. Do you know? 
Fried tofu with vegetables. Fried tofu with vegetables. So fried tahu or tahu goreng with vegetables on the inside. So let's give it a try. Tahu prontak. Rebellion tofu. Tahu prontak. Prontak. Prontak is rebellion. Tahu prontak. It's a rebellious tofu. Tahu rebellion. Tahu susor. Tahu susor. As an Irishman, you have to be careful eating the rebellious tofu. <laughs> Man, that, that's amazing. Oh, it must be really amazing if you're going in so fast. Oh. It's hot. Uh huh. Show me what is in there. Mm. It's loaded full of vegetables. It is so tasty. Like packed full of flavor. Like it's really hot and steamy on the inside. The vegetables are really sort of, they have a particular flavor to them. It's almost like a little bit oily, buttery type of flavor. And um, I typically don't like tofu at all. But since I've came to Indonesia, I've been eating tofu and really enjoying it. And this is amazing. Mm. I just finished the whole thing. So good, 10 out of 10. I agree with Luke. I was eating behind the camera. It's very nice. <laughs> very good um, tofu vegetable ball. Mm, love it. Mm. On to the chap chai. Chap I don't chai. know if you can see it. Chap chai, yeah? Chap chai is all. So I see vegetables. I see something like egg noodle maybe? Something eggy. It's egg. Rice. Hello. Menduan. Tempe. Wow. Menduan. Tempe. Tempe. The tempe. Fried tempe. Menduan. Menduan. Tempe. Menduan. Banyuas. Banyumas. You must say. Yeah. Oh. This time without the tempe? <laughs> Hello. No tempe this time. It's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so spicy. It's uh, sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet chili, chili, this chili. one. It's not spicy. Anyway, it seems to be some sort of a mix of vegetables. And I believe it's like rice flour, maybe <laughs> mixed with egg or something like that. And they put it into this beautiful leaf. I don't remember anything. So you can sort of uh, take away your food. And it's very, very nice actually. It's a nice little uh, leaf packet full of power. <laughs> it's nice. Leaf packet full of power. Mm. Hot news. Hot news. <laughs> mm. Wow. It is really good. It is sweet. It's like a sweet potato. Very sweet. Interesting flavor, interesting texture. Oh, it's yeah. sweet. It's really sweet. It tastes like vanilla or something was added to it. Yeah. It tastes a little bit like vanilla. Really interesting. Like flavor. a sweet potato cake. Yeah. <laughs> Timos. Oh. Is, nice. yeah. hmm? is the name. Timos. 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 Yeah. Very good, Timos. Telur. Puyo. Puyo. Quail egg. Quail egg. <laughs> Quail egg on a stick. Hmm. That's an interesting flavor. I've genuinely never had a quail egg before. Is it like hard boiled? Hard boiled quail egg. Yeah. It's good. Why is it brown? It's not bad. Yeah, the color. I thought it was olives. It looks like an olive. Yeah. Maybe it's um, in shoyu, like in soy sauce or something. Maybe. They yeah. It? It's not bad at all. Yeah. 
We saw that they were selling Mendoan. Now, if you guys have been watching our videos, we have made a video in Baturaden in Corvocurto, and that was the first time that we tried Mendoan, which is a fried tempeh with a bunch of other stuff in there. And uh, as soon as we saw it, we had to grab one, and uh, we're just literally split it in half, and now we're just sharing it. It has quickly become one of our go-tos and one of our favorite to have Mendoan. So good. Delicious. Really, really good. I already devoured mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm already done with my Mendoan. Nothing comes in between me and my Mendoan. Yes, uh, you must try this. This uh, steam banana. Steam banana. Uh, as, uh, <laughs> alias Gedang Godok. Oh. Steam banana. Yes. <laughs> or this steam peanuts. Steam peanuts? Yes. Oh my god. Steam everything. Kacang koto. Kacang koto. Yes, kacang oh. rebus. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick to the bananas for now. <laughs> Let's open it Steam right bananas. up. Yes. Mantap. Mantap. Yep. Mantul. Mantul, mantul. Magnus. <laughs> All of the words for tasty. <laughs> okay. It smells very banana-y. Tastes Good. like a hybrid in between potato and banana. Wow. Sort of in the middle. Like a not like a sweet potato, but like like a banana y sweet potato. That's what yeah. it tastes like. Because it's steamed and it's obviously a starchy type of carbohydrate, so mm, it's good. Very nice. I do enjoy this. <laughs> the next day. What's up everybody and welcome back to Solo or Sura Karta. We're going to be exploring around this city. It looks incredibly vibrant and something a little bit different for sure. So let's go check this place out. Now as always to understand the local culture a little bit better we are starting off in the local market. In this case it's Pasar Gede and uh, we're going to have a look around what people here are offering in terms of fruit or souvenirs or anything like that and I can already see some people here eating something so uh, I'm sure we might get a little bit of a munch in as well. <laughs> now Solo is known for its batik and one of the very first things that we were greeted with when we came into Pasar Gede was a batik seller. Just have a look at how beautiful some of these designs are. So you have a whole bunch of different colors, textures, fabrics, absolutely gorgeous. Now there is supposedly another Pasar called Pasar Clever, or Clever, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but that's supposedly the place to go if you do want uh, affordable batik here in the city of Solo. This market, Pasar Gede, is more so geared towards snacks, food, and of course, a little bit of batik as well. All of the important things combined into one location. Absolutely. Let's go deeper into this Pasar here. I already saw they have like these cute uh, tea packets. I don't know if like every single one of the tea packets in there is a, a different tea, but it looks really nice. I'm contemplating buying one of these. Oh yeah. It's like six different ones. Yeah. Really cool. And then it's hibiscus, I think. Hibiscus? To make hibiscus tea, maybe? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> so we just strolled our way through the massive vegetable section here at Pasar Gede and then we made our way to what seems to be some sort of like a wooden weaving uh, section. They have a lot of different sort of wooden articles for sale like broomsticks and things to cook with, things to store your rice with, stuff like that and even these really interesting looking hats here as well. Absolutely amazing. Look at all this stuff. So much stuff. I'm hiding behind the brooms. Siang. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is such a unique market. It's very interesting. I just found a crazy looking tea package, but I'm not sure if this here is actually sugar or if it's a... Uh, oh no, Gula Batu seems to be some sort of sugar, yeah, like rock, rock sugar. Uh, but it looks very interesting. It sort of looks a little bit like the tea that we had the other day 
uh, when we explored the outside areas of Solo. Um, yeah, maybe I'm gonna buy this one. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a tea person, so. Looks really good. Like a nice mixture. Let me see. Brava, Ini. Brava, Mastery. Dua Lima. Twenty five. Twenty five thousand. Yeah. I think. Ah, twenty five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wanna get some of the one of these tea packages? Oh yeah. Go yeah? for it. Yeah. Two packets air panas. For uh, the chest yeah. to breathe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. First purchase. Yeah. Terima kasih banyak. Terima kasih banyak. Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Can you believe the size of the cinnamon here? If you buy a cinnamon anywhere in like Europe, you only get like a pack that is this big with like two sticks or something like that. And it would be like 10 euro at least. This <laughs> one here is like you, could, you just get an entire bag. I'm not sure how expensive it is, but uh, it looks crazy to see cinnamon this size. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Looking at it, I thought it was hibiscus tea, but uh, it's actually rosella tea. Uh, she said it's like a herbal type of tea that you can uh, make. Apparently it's good for your health from what I understood, but I, I don't know what it tastes like, if it's like a rosy type of taste. Yeah. Vitamin C. Vitamin C? Yeah, Oh, you have smaller. This, this is very bizarre, you have small? Just that size. Just this size yeah. or bigger. But what if I don't like it? <laughs> then I have like half a kilo of Rosella. <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? Give it to the Airbnb. Give it to the Airbnb. Berapa ini? Lima puluh. Lima puluh. Lima puluh. Fifty. Five thousand? No, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. I think. I think it's fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty thousand. Uh, you want it? The calculator out for you. You want it? Or? If you if you do, yeah. This guy is packing away. So that was a quick little look inside Pasar Gede. Naomi cannot go inside of a Pasar without buying something, whether it's tea, fresh fruit, etc. She is literally a market vendor's dream and uh, she picked up some tea two different types and yeah. uh, I think it was a decent bargain actually yeah sometimes I'm not sure here in Indonesia if we're supposed to negotiate the price or not but so far we're just opting for supporting supporting the locals so we're just gonna take whatever price they're saying and uh, not negotiate basically but at some stage I'm sure we're gonna start negotiating <laughs> <laughs> we were actually told if we go to Pasar Clever we should definitely haggle oh for yeah the price. for yeah. sure <laughs> Just look at how beautiful, colorful this city is. Now there is supposedly a festival, an umbrella festival going on. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. I love all of these umbrella decorations on the old style uh, pillars here. The city is very, very uh, stunning. There's quite a bit of traffic right now at the moment. It is the middle of the day, so but we're very excited to explore the inner workings of Solo. For those of you guys that might not know, Solo has a tram line and uh, the tram literally goes twice a day from Solo to a place called Wonogiri. Twice a day. It's very interesting. I saw tram lines and we asked our grab driver what they were and uh, he said that there's a tram twice a day. So that's very interesting. It's an interesting uh, mode of transport, I think, to be going on a tram through traffic from one city to the next city. Very interesting. Right now we're making our way sort of through the city center and uh, just sort of taking it all in. Thank God, shade. Shade, yeah, it's a very hot day. Hello, see you. <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but uh, Solo seems to be hotter than Jogja. So at the moment we're it's really hot. like, I don't know if it's just today or if it's actually in comparison to Jogja hotter here, but I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm very happy about the shade right now. <laughs> so this here is the Alon Alon of Solo. 
and um, it appears that there's going to be a night market there possibly later on so very interesting and there seems to also be a little bit of a theme park as well going on yeah they have a lot of it, it looks like a fun fair of sorts i'm sure at night time it's like nicely illuminated uh, but we will have to come back as soon as the sun sets and just s wait out the heat or something i don't know <laughs> yeah Hello. well everybody welcome inside pasar clever absolutely surrounded by clothing right now every corner that we're turning it's like a maze made out of batik and uh, just look at how vibrant these colors are it's absolutely gorgeous it's so so beautiful but a little overwhelming as always with these like really large markets you have so many colors so many different cuts designs and uh, I don't know you never you, you never really know where to look at and where to go and what to buy and so on so you always take a little bit of time to just accustom yourself to the situation <laughs> and then you start buying something but yeah right now we're somewhere lost in Bazaar Clever no <laughs> idea where we are <laughs> cool accessories though cool bags nice accessories yeah bags beautiful Maybe I can exchange my backpack for one of these. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hi. Uh, Hello. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We arrived in Semarang late last night and didn't really get the chance to explore Semarang that much and that's exactly what we're going to do Hello. today. Hello. Hello! Starting off with Kampung uh, Pelangi Kalisari, a little bit of an alternative and colorful community here in Semarang. The Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> we read online that this Kampung is known for being like the Rainbow Kampung and uh, just starting off at the entrance of the Kampung you can already see it's like the Rainbow Bridge from uh, Mario Super Brothers or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> This is beautiful. Let's have a look here over. There's actually a river here as well. And uh, look at the walls, for example. I'll show you guys. Beautiful and colorful rainbow village here. What a great place. What a great place to start off the day. Put ourselves in a good mood. And uh, very excited to be exploring Semarang. Like we said in the last video though, when we first arrived in Semarang, wow, incredibly hot. It is the dry season, the peak of the dry season, as some of you guys let us know in the comments. So very dry, very hot, and uh, pr a little bit tough to manage. But uh, whoa, look at how beautiful this is. It looks like, uh, like porcelain. Nearly. Looks I like mean, porcelain, it's blue, yeah. blue tiles, white and blue tiles, obviously, but it's like it looks like Chinese, like China porcelain. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you have windmills, kind of Dutch. <laughs> Look at the floor. Everything is very vibrant and colorful here. Coffee. You sell coffee? Coffee, 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 ini mantul. atas. Okay. Sampai jumpa. I thought she was selling the coffee, <laughs> but yeah. it was just a sign. <laughs> the artwork here, all around this kampong, is spectacular. It's really amazing to look at so creative i cannot imagine what it's like to live here like every day waking up walking around seeing this beautiful place i love it when you see like real human expression and creation true art and now we're currently on the hunt i think for a cup of coffee yeah just straight um we're gonna keep going straight straight and then the next one to the left i was just looking here because it looks like they have a homestay uh, in the kampong, it's called Kriya Sakura. Nice. And they have AC rooms. Interesting. Maybe next time. Beautiful place for sure to, to stay here. This would be amazing. But yeah. Oh, we're going straight this way. Okay, cool. Straight and then left. Yep. <laughs> See you. Get home. 
people around here. Um, Semarang, particularly friendly people. Everybody, actually, that we've come across so far in Semarang has been exceptionally nice, very helpful. We've only been here now for one day. This is our proper, this is our first day actually exploring Semarang. And uh, oh, have a look at this guy. Yeah, it's with uh, Tamarind. Semarang, I read online, Semarang um, translates, is two Javanese words, and they translate into something like scares tamarind, like little tamarind, oh. or something like that. I think that's why they have the tamarind in the mural. Very interesting. Wow, these murals here are particularly interesting. It looks like almost like a bad trip or something like that. Like, look at these guys' eyes here. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Uh, it's kind of scary almost. I am her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Beautiful though. I love it. Javanese words Asen and Arang, which translates as scarce tamarind. Scarce tamarind, you were right. Good brain. <laughs> Good memory. <laughs> Every single corner of this place is uh, something new to look at. And I love these signs here as well. Very beautiful. A mango tree, no? I think it's a mango tree. Looks like a mango tree. Yeah, there's... Oh, we have the call, call to, to prayer. prayer. There you go. So peaceful. Now guys, just a few minutes walking around and then um, incredibly hot, absolutely sweating. So we made our way now, we found a place for a cup of coffee. We just asked uh, some of the locals here, a grab driver actually, and he directed us in here to grab ourselves a refreshing cup of coffee and um, after that we're going to be exploring I think for a while oh yeah <laughs> but uh, this place is fantastic I can't people oh uh, kapalapi yeah oh, yeah. Uh, yeah makasi I didn't understand the last question she said uh, panas oh, hot okay has to be hot because uh, it's so hot outside that I feel like if we drink something cold our bodies are gonna try and heat up again and then it's gonna feel warmer so we're gonna drink something hot to cool down our bodies I know it doesn't sound like it makes sense but it does make sense trust me <laughs> this is uh, very interesting it seems to be like literally being served out she has basically a setup here at her home so that's uh, very special quite popular as well there are loads of grab drivers coming and uh, picking up orders yeah. and so on so I, I think it's a good place oh yeah for sure good coffee ah, it's delicious this is exactly what we need now to, to keep exploring oh oh no oh <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, smart. Ooh, Papa. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> there was an escapist cat. <laughs> mm. I didn't expect that. Little boy, the little boy just handed over a cat. A cat. <laughs> Feeling caffeinated, energized, yeah. ready to explore. <laughs> See you. Hello. 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 How are you? Hi. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> Little kiss. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <laughs> you good? <laughs> You're gonna sell me a house. How <laughs> cute was he? Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
feeling very caffeinated and uh, ready to explore for sure. We absolutely love this place. Hold on a second guys, it's pretty dark at the moment here. Walked into a bit of shade. Look at this. Everywhere around here. It's really, really beautiful. Hello. This place is absolutely fascinating. Came across a graveyard, sort of in the center. And even the graveyard itself is very colorful. Feels very alive. Just have a look out here at the, uh, the view here. That's what we're kind of looking for at the moment. We're looking for a place to get a bit of a nice panorama view over this village because I'm sure it is very beautiful because of all of these vibrant colors and hard work. We love this place. This is only the first stop today, so it's gonna be a long day of exploring Semarang. They're drying some sort of kerapuk, I think, maybe. Yeah. Ah, it looks like it's made out of rice. Oh. On this mural, it looks like the men are wearing sort of the Turkish vests, no? The Turkish traditional vests. Not sure. Made our way to some what of a viewpoint. And to get here, we had to walk through this. Just have a look here behind me. Very, very interesting. A very large proportion of this particular kampung seems to be uh, grave sites. There's a lot everywhere. We've walked past now uh, around three or four different graveyards. Very very interesting. An interesting component to have in such a colorful and vibrant and lively city. But have a look at this gorgeous view here. Looking over some part of Semarang, I'm not too sure which, but uh, beautiful. It's very fun because we're sort of standing below what seems to be a very, very large sign and I'm sort of imagining this to be like the the Hollywood sign of Semarang, like yeah, yeah. Semarang Hills or something. Semarang Hills. <laughs> I don't know what it says because we're on the wrong side, but <laughs> would be cool to know. <laughs> Okay guys, so as of now we're making our way down from this beautiful, colourful, vibrant kampung and we're gonna head towards Lawang Sewu, which is a very historical Dutch colonial place now I believe it has some very interesting aspects to it so cannot wait to check that out and this village here, or this kampung is definitely a must visit so add it to your list if you are coming to Semarang Make sure to bring enough water here as well because wow, I'm sweating like crazy. How beautiful is this? Look at this guy. Wow, incredible. So we made it to Lawung Sawu. Now Lawung Sawu in Japanese apparently means a thousand doors. And uh, it says that this house apparently has a thousand doors or at least a lot of them. And it has a reputation of being haunted. Uh, it was built in the early, uh, like I think 1907 or something like that by the Dutch. So yeah, very, very interesting. And we're gonna try and find the entry and have a look around inside and see if it's actually haunted. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lawang Sewu. We just purchased our tickets, Wisman tickets, which I believe it's just foreigner ticket 30,000 rupiah to enter I think if you're a local it's 20,000 so it's only like a 10,000 rupiah difference which is totally fine and the view from outside here is absolutely spectacular very beautiful look at that I'm gonna see if there's a thousand doors in here hey 
I don't know if there's that many, but uh, we might try and count. Yeah, we're going to try and count and let you know if it's actually a thousand. Let's see how <laughs> many doors we're seeing. Let's check this place out. By the way, this I think has the reputation of being haunted because some pretty bad things happened in this building in the basement and the crimes were committed by the Dutch and the Japanese, I believe. And uh, there's just an open door here that shows uh, an open view towards the basement and it's really scary just looking around it. I, I got goosebumps immediately, so I think it might actually be haunted. It's very dark. Looks like there's water down there. Maybe there's water? Creepy. And you can see Gebaut. 1916 to 1918, so this part of the building was uh, erected in between interesting vibes in here for sure stairs the whole construction the color everything very very cool to see or head outside here okay we're outside what beautiful really, yeah what I really like about this place so far is that you don't really have a lot of uh, what do you say like hurdles sort of chains that don't let you walk into rooms and so on it sort of feels like you can explore freely and just move around whatever way you please and uh, right now we are pleased to announce that we are on the balcony <laughs> very nice you can actually see how many doors there are yeah i'm actually thinking that there is around a thousand doors here it uh it's a lot bigger than i anticipated for sure some live music going on here as well. There's a guy down there with his guitar. Very beautiful place. Well, well, well. Worth. It's worth the money. Only 30,000 for foreigners to get in here, so it's fantastic. I think locals was 20,000 yep. and kids something like 10,000. So the price difference is not too crazy and uh, acceptable for us. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Having a good time? Having an amazing time. It's so hot. <laughs> Just trying to stop sweating right now. <laughs> Beautiful garden here. Have a look. This place is uh, very nice, very unique. Something very special for you guys to check out here in Semarang. It is one of the very first things that pops up on the list. So when you search, you know, things to do in Semarang, Lawang Sewu is going to be typically one of the top five that will pop up and I can see why it's very nice we've got some souvenir stores here and uh, the guard oh there's a CF <laughs> there's a CFC inside Lawang Sewu there you go we are big big CFC fans ever since we tried it we tried it for the very first time in Jakarta and uh, we loved it ever since have a look at this this is just really cool we've got a bunch of different stuff on sale like coffee and snacks and cfc and a garden and there's live music couldn't really want anything else to be honest you can do photo shoots with costumes oh photo shoots. per person nice well worth it amazing Okay, so got ourselves iced jeruk, some freshly squeezed iced jeruk, nice and refreshing. Incredibly hot today, so this is a very welcome uh, drink to have. And we're currently sitting and enjoying some live music here in the courtyard of the garden. And uh, it's cool, it's a nice atmosphere. There's a lot of uh, a lot of locals around here enjoying Lawang Sewu 
and uh, yeah, I can see why this place is pretty popular. Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to refresh right now, I'm really hot. Um, it's so, so beautiful here, but at the same time, I cannot wait for that sun to set so that we can maybe go on a Pasar Malam or something like that and uh, the environment is going to cool down a little bit. I cannot wait for that part, but it's so, so nice here. Sitting in the shade, it's absolutely perfect. It's amazing. our way here to what seems to be sort of a church part or what looks to be like a church and uh, absolutely gorgeous stained glass here have a look it's actually very interesting because it seems like uh, this is the part that is the least visited it seems to be completely empty there's nobody we're like the only people here and uh, we found this gem can you believe it Beautiful. Nearly knocked me out of my socks when I was walking around the corner. <laughs> it's like, pow, stained glass. So that was a look inside of Lawang Sewu, and now we jumped in a grab and we made our way over to the old town of Semarang, Kota Lama area of Semarang, to be more specific, I guess. And uh, seems to be pretty interesting definitely a little bit different than a lot of the other parts of Semarang. So Semarang city in general, it seems to be very developed, very modern, super clean as well. And this old town part is very clean, very organized, but it's also a lot of older buildings, obviously. So you have this really cool looking building here, which is actually a ramen store <laughs> of all places. And uh, we're going to explore the old town of Semarang. It is still, as you can tell, blasting with sun. It's so incredibly hot. And uh, we're gonna check this place out, spend maybe a while wandering the streets of old town Semarang. Let's go. We found ourselves a very cool looking cafe. Uh, it's called Hero Coffee. And they seem to be having uh, a lot of Indonesian, like typical Indonesian coffee. And uh, we're just gonna go in Maybe we are gonna grab an iced coffee, an S coffee, and uh, pray that they have an AC. I don't think so, but let's pray. Semarang Old Town is really amazing. It literally feels like we stepped into Europe. Like it feels like we stepped back home to Europe. It's crazy. Let's go get some coffee. So this place is actually really cool. It's called Hero Coffee Indonesia, here in the heart of Kota Lama, or the Old Town of Semarang very interesting it's in like a very old school uh, Dutch style building it almost feels like we're drinking coffee in Lawang Sewu where we just were before we came here it's a very very nice and special place all of the furniture is very unique wood style and how's the coffee tasting coffee is really really good it's not too strong not too weak just about on the perfect side of life if you want to say it like that and um, also, they didn't add any sugar. They just gave us a shot of sugar syrup. For a second, I wanted to, I thought it was water. I was like, oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> it's sugar syrup. But uh, the coffee is very nice. Happy days. So very I think we're going to use this to refresh ourselves. And then we're going to explore a little bit more of Old Town Semarang. And just in case you guys are wondering why we're not trying a whole bunch of different food. Semarang is very popular for a lot of different types of cuisine. Uh, you gotta stay tuned for the video after this one. We're going to be exploring some of the night markets around Semarang in the video coming after this one. Those iced coffees were really lifesavers and uh, right now the sun is finally starting to set and it's a little bit of a golden hour going on here. And check out what we just found. We just found a really cool looking church and uh, I believe this is, oh yeah, this is Kota, to the, uh, Kota Lama, the main street here in the old town. Uh, there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on. Now that it's getting darker, everybody is coming out to enjoy the evening and the temperatures are getting a little bit lower right now. This place is really fantastic. It really, I'm telling you guys, it sounds kind of weird, but it, it does feel like we just took a step back into somewhere in maybe Western Europe or something like that. Like. You could take a picture, for example, of this church or this place down here 
and you could be like, oh, I'm just after being in Prague or somewhere like this, people would probably believe you, I'm not gonna lie. This place is incredibly well kept, it's organized, structured very well. It's also pretty clean too. So to be honest, Semarang really positively surprised us in a very big way. It's a fantastic city. Selamat sore everybody, good evening. Welcome to Semarang in the north of central Java here in Indonesia. Tonight we're going to be trying some Semarang cuisine and supposedly Semarang is very well known for its food and we came here to Simpang Lima in the center of Semarang and we're very very excited to try some of the local dishes see what we can get up to. I know there's a couple of different must try things and we're going to be on the lookout for those things so let's go and check out Simpang Lima, let's go check out Semarang some food both of us are absolutely starving we've been out all day exploring this city which you would have seen in the video just before this let's go and try some semarang food so so hungry it's half past five no breakfast no lunch ah. <laughs> so they have two of the dishes that uh, are on my must try list uh, for semarang and it's me kopiok which is noodles in a what is it called which are noodles and a garlic soup. <laughs> garlic is the word. And then uh, the tahu gimbal. Maybe, what, what, do we want to stop here as a first try? They also have a lot of juices. You nice. want to try here first? Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Well-deserved juice jeruk here. I'm so happy right now to put calories into my body. I know I don't look like it, but we need calories. <laughs> Okay, so the me kopiok, kopiok just came out. Oh, and there's yeah. also the second one. Yes. Nice. Gimbal. Uh, both of our dishes actually just came out, as you just saw, and uh, it already looks to die for. I'm currently digging through to see uh, what type of ingredients there are. Now, obviously, you have your mung beans as always. You have the noodles, and then you have some soup. And uh, this here looks like maybe a little bit of a lontong type of a thing. And then you also have your keropok. Really good keropok. Mm. Let's give this a quick try. Mm. Oh yeah, lontong, always my favorite food. And the beans also taste very, very fresh. I think you have some chopped coriander there on top. And you can very, very clearly taste all of the ingredients of the soup. It's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, look, I found some tofu as well. By the way, the uh, people from the restaurant, they actually asked if we wanted to have it spicy or not. And uh, we said, yes, we want it spicy. And uh, yeah, he made it actually spicy, but not too spicy. So it's, it's kind of like a nice, Nice amount of spice. Let's put a little bit of ketchup, as always. Mm, yum, 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 yum. So happy right now. And here we have the Tahu Gimbal. Very interesting name. Very interesting looking as well. I think I'm gonna give this a try right now. Mm. Tahu Gimbal. Something that I've never heard of until <laughs> until I came here. I think it's gimbal, <laughs> gimbal not gimbal. <laughs> gimbal. Uh, we have again carrot brook. Seems to be like a, a bit of a peanut sauce, which we had before on Gado Gado when we went to Gado Gado Boplo in Jakarta. <laughs> I love I love saying that name, Gado Gado Boplo. And uh, I'm gonna start off with the carrot brook, and I'm gonna taste the peanut sauce. There's some cabbage, there's some shrimp paste, there's also, you obviously have the tofu or tahu. I'm gonna have some of that with the karo prok as well and that peanut sauce. This looks very interesting. Let's give it a try. Yes, that's very good. Mm. The flavors 
are very unique. So it's kind of like a fishy, shrimpy taste, peanut taste, and spicy. So it's like a three-dimensional craziness of flavors right here. And then you also have the texture. So the texture of this crop up is uh, obviously, I think they're shrimp flavored. So you have the fishiness from them. The texture is super crunchy. And then you have the different texture with the tofu. So that's really soft and squishy. And then that peanut sauce as well, uh, all layered on top. You also have a whole bunch of things like scallions from what it seems. So it seems to be a little bit of a crisp, crispy onion situation. You have actual shrimp in there as well. And um, overall, I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm not gonna give you guys the final verdict until I have another try. So let's see here. This guy is really allergic to whatever he's cooking. Oh, maybe, guy behind me. maybe it's just the chili that you put into the wok or something. <laughs> Here we go, we have another mouthful of a uh, combination of different things here. Some cabbage in there as well. Cheers, guys. Pahu gimbal. This is very nice. And, uh, Interesting. Online it says that the tofu is filled with shrimp paste. Is this one filled as well or is it like in the sauce or something? From what I can tell, the tofu ah, okay, I see, I see. Act actually has shrimp in there. Cool. So, incredibly interesting like i said so many different dimensions of flavor and texture is going on with this dish this is very very unique definitely a must try here in semarang very very tasty okay guys so i want to show you just something that i'm after i kind of came up with a little bit of an invention so take two pieces of the karaprook and then you place the tahu on the inside and you have like a crispy crunchy sort of a Tahu burger here. Very good. Hmm? You always make a sandwich out of everything. It doesn't yep. matter what it is. Oh, Naomi's Lantan. feeding me. The meat kopiok. Very tasty as well. I think if I had to pick, I like the Tahu gimbal. Naomi likes the meat kopiok. So, first dish of today or of tonight. Very pleasantly surprised. This is a uh, very very nice and uh, a great way to sort of kickstart a night of carnage here in Semarang. Meal number one is done. Now we're on the search for some lumpia, some spring rolls, Semarang spring rolls. Let's see what we can find. The man was pointing at Istana for Istana. Semarang lumpia or lumpia Semarang. And uh, there seems yeah. to be some sort of a, maybe a food court inside or something, I don't know. But it looks like a castle. It looks like a big castle, yeah? Ooh! Lumpia Semarang? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Lima? Satunya 18, kalau Lima 90,000. Standard Lumpia di Semarang, Kak. Di luar mana? Kalau yang ini harga vakum, kalau yang siap makan ini 18,000, Kak. Lumpia Semarang. Original? Kalau ini original udang, siap siap makannya yang udang aja. Kalau yang untuk ayam sama udang spesial itu vakum, Kak. Oke, okay, ini yeah. original. Iya, yeah, udang. Lumpia original. Uh, satu porsi. Satu lima. Besoknya ini isi 6 sama 10. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mas, I'm overwhelmed. Oh, yang 108? Lumpia original, please. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting this little thing. A little box. Little. Yeah. I don't know the word for four. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we even have a cute little basket. It's so beautiful. It's very funny. Um, lately, I've been seeing a lot of the words being spelled differently with a lot more uh, O's and E's and U's. It's like instead of Lumpia, L U M, it's like L O E N. Luempia. Uh, I think it's the central Java type of 
uh, dialect or accent. Okay, we have our sauce, we have our veggies, uh, cucumbers, some spring onions, we have green chilies that look very dangerous. And then we have the... Ah! Yeah! We have the goods. We have to assemble our food. <laughs> okay. Here. Ah, it's hot. This is hot. Hot? Hot, hot. Very hot. Got some sauces. We've got some... A whole bunch of different stuff here. This <laughs> looks to be like... Uh, <laughs> onions. And... Cucumber. I don't know what these are. What are these called? Scallions? Spring onions. Spring onions. Some sauces as well. Oh my oh god, my it's god. so thick. Look at that, it comes out like a flubber. It looks like caramel. Why is it so thick? It doesn't smell like caramel. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for it to taste or smell like Very caramel. interesting. Okay, let's just go in with a big dip. Check out the sauce. Got a dip, dip, dip. All of the dips. What is lumpia filled with? Semarang lumpia. Mm. Mm. Sauce is um, super sweet. Now on the inside I want to say it's um, bamboo shoots maybe? It tastes a little bit like bamboo shoots. Oh. Um, some egg. Maybe some chicken? I want to say chicken. Yeah? yeah? It's very tasty, but the sauce is very sweet, like it's very surprisingly sweet. Um, but a lot of things, especially in Java, are made for the taste of the people of Java. And Java people love sweet food, so the sauce comes uh, yeah, anticipated, I want to say. Mm. This is perfect, it's so nice. Mm. Really good. Looks amazing. Okay guys, Lumpia Semarang. Now I don't really have a choice whether or not I want to try the sauce, it's already all over it. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see, this is thick, this is very thick. It seems to be very densely packed full of good stuff. So here we go guys. Whoa. That's amazing. Mm. Very sweet, no? The sauce is incredibly sweet. Like it is, uh, really amplifies and goes against the salty, crispy, fried flavor of the spring roll. The sauce, to be honest, this particular sauce, it's not really my thing. I'm not much of a sweet person, but this. You're salty. This, on the other hand, I'm a very salty person. This is fantastic. Oh, so good. Do you also think it's bamboo shoots on the inside? It kind of tastes like bamboo. Um, a little bit of an ayam flavor, chicken flavor as well. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Let us know down in the comments what exactly goes into a, an, an authentic lumpia from Semarang. These here definitely are incredibly unique. Very unique flavor, I have to say. I'm not even sure what exactly the flavor is that I'm getting, but this is delicious. And um, I'm gonna be devouring the rest of this for sure. So good. And the spread. We wanted a Fanta and a Coca-Cola, we got a spread and <laughs> Fanta strawberry. But that's alright, Luke is gonna get the spread, I get the strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Strawberry. Raza strawberry. <laughs> <clears throat> we wanted something sweet, so that's why we kind of figured that we would come here. And uh, kind of was looking around for like maybe a roti bakar or martabak or something. Couldn't really find any, but we came to this place and we figured that we would just get like a soft drink 
And we also ordered some nasi goreng telur, so like an egg nasi goreng, egg fried rice. And we also went for a kuei tiao goreng, which is like a noodles fried Chinese style dish. Quickly has become one of my favorite dishes in Indonesia. But I think this is going to be uh, definitely something that we um, have been looking for for a while because like I said we haven't eaten anything up until our very first dish here so we're just kind of circling around Simpang Lima trying everything and uh, these are the best types of nights to be honest these are it's, it's literally our favorite thing to do when we come to a new city is uh, go out to the Pasar Malam go and try a whole different bunch of food and then you get to know very quickly all about the city that you're in and the types of cuisine that's going on here. But that uh, lumpia semarang was very, very good. And we found out as well that it does contain bamboo shoots. So Naomi was spot on with that, uh, with that guess. I know my Asian flavors by now. Uh, it's also what I wanted to say, really, really nice to see that this um, sort of pasar malam area is slowly filling up because people are slowly getting off of work it's now 22 7 so if you move the camera over there you can see that there's people coming in at the beginning i think at the beginning of the video it, lo it looked like it was very empty but it's just a monday evening so i guess people are just home because yesterday was sunday and everybody was out and about with their family and um, but yeah there are some people so we're not the only ones it's just uh, a little bit quiet at the moment but i'm sure it's, it will fill up later during the night I want to say all right my nasi goreng telur so fried rice with egg egg fried rice in the end uh, came just out and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic now I thought I would get like sort of a sunny side up type of an egg but I got an omelet and it looks super nice lots of spring onions in there also have a good bit of uh, fresh vegetables here some cabbage some tomatoes cucumber and so on it just looks Fantastic! Mm. This is good. Very good. I could dive right in. I could. I want to put my entire face in it. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I took the spoon a little bit too full. But uh, Luke just said actually when we walked past and we saw the age of this beautiful couple, they're a little bit like in the pensioner type of age, and um, they know exactly what they're doing. And uh, yeah, it shows they have been making nasi goreng for a good few decades, I want to say. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, nice. Wow. <laughs> Genuinely, oh wow, it is a, it is a little bit pedas, a little bit spicy. Um, she asked us if we do want it spicy. We always say yes. We really, really both are starting to really enjoy spice. And this is perfect. Indonesia really does have phenomenal food and every day that goes by we're literally I for one myself I literally find that I'm like craving different Indonesian food different spice different flavors it's crazy I'm, I'm I, by the time we actually leave Indonesia which hopefully is in like a year from now uh, I'm gonna be very much a larger version of Luke, that's for sure. This is amazing, fantastic. Larger than life, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> now guys, Kuei Tiao Goreng. This is definitely not the first time that I've eaten Kuei Tiao Goreng on this channel. I think the last time I had it was when we were in Lembang, just outside the northern part of Bandung. And that was really good Kuei Tiao and I asked for it spicy there as well. And now I asked for a spicy Kuei Tiao, so let's see if this can match what I had in Lembang. Let's see what we have here. So we have 
shredded chicken. We have some maybe coriander or something like that. Coriander maybe, yeah. And uh, a whole bunch of other stuff mixed in with the amazing kuei tiao noodles as well. This looks really great. And you know what I'm gonna do? Something that I always do. Naomi always, Naomi doesn't like when I do this, but I really love it. And I think it's the perfect way of trying food. You're gonna make a sandwich. You have to make a sandwich out of it. So I'm gonna make a kuei tiao sandwich just real quickly here. I'm gonna drop this onto my spoon. Wow, it's really hot. Have it like this. And then what I'm gonna do is you have to put a bun on top. So you have to put a bun on your burger. Cap it off like this. And then we have a packet full of flavor right there. Mm. Wow. That's phenomenal. Oh. Very spicy, very flavorful, incredible flavor actually. Oh, that's the woman. She's, uh, when I get to that age, if I have even half of this woman's energy, I'm gonna be a very happy guy for sure. This is really, really fantastic. It is spicy enough, but not so spicy that it's, you know, gonna blow my head off, but uh, Let's give it one more try here. Oh. Feel good food. Simpang Lima. This area of Semarang, Semarang in general. The food here is fantastic. The people of Semarang, amazing. Really, really fallen in love with Semarang already. And if you are thinking about skipping anywhere along the way here in Java, don't stop everywhere you can. Semarang, really, really a top-notch city. And this food is fantastic. Just know that Semarang is one of the hottest areas, I believe, of Java. Yeah, be prepared. Or maybe even Indonesia. <laughs> be prepared for the heat. If you are uh, a pale white person like me, bring your sunscreen. <laughs>